What's up YouTube, Stefano Turtle YGO here coming at you guys with a updated Lightsworn deck profile for the August 2019 format. Um, this deck is a work in progress, just going to let y'all know at the moment, but that does not mean I am not going to uh, show you this saucy deck profile. No, there are going to be some cards added into this eventually, namely some Shadal cards because Shadal Sworn is a very interesting deck to play at the f current format and it's pretty powerful too. So we're just going to get into the main deck. So starting off with the main deck, we are of course playing our three copies of Judgment Dragon. Judgment Dragon being a full board wipe. And uh, that is something that is very powerful. Um, of course, we're also playing the one BLS. I chose to main deck a Hydralander just because it can fill up your graveyard. And at most, it is an extra pop. So that's also a good extender. One Distrudo, Synchro, and Link Fodder here. And one Dark Arm Dragon because this card can just destroy several things. Next, we have uh, for our Light Swarms, three Raiden. Raiden, mill 2 on summon, and then mill 2 during end phase. We've got our one Lila Twilight Sworn Enchantress. She acts as spell and trap removal for the deck. And a pretty decent card. Next we're playing the 3 Wolf. And the 2 Felis to summon off of graveyard effects. Or summon with their graveyard effects. And we are also playing the three Lumina, because this card can be looped several times a turn. Um, when I was testing it with the Shadow cards, I ended up looping it four times and one duel against Dark Magicians. And yeah, this is just freaking nuts. Um, of course, we are also playing the one Raiko to round out our number of Light Swords. And on to the extra engines, we have the two mini Chaos Dragons, one Wyver Burster and one Collapse Serpent. Pretty explanatory. We're also playing the Predaplant engine, being three Orphis Scorpio and the one Darling Tony a Cobra. Um, for the plant engine, I do need to get more of this card. I only have one Lone Fire Blossom at the moment. I am trying to get more. So, I'll have to see if any of my friends have this, <clears throat> or have two copies of it. For now, I'm only playing one. I will get three. Don't worry. And we're playing the one Glow Up Bulb. Um, I am probably going to run an Earth Engine in this as well, so I can make Natcheria Beast. But even if I wasn't, Glow Up Bulb is still a very solid card and a really great extender. Uh, next we're playing the one Gigantes. This is sort of for the Earth Engine. Armageddon Knights to send cards like Strudo. This is to send stuff like Wolf or Felis so they can summon. And of course for the last card we have, we have the one Gemite Lapis for Seraphonite. That will end off the monsters. Now we will go on to the spells. Starting off with our spells, we have the Triple Charge. This is your Rota for the deck, along with it being a card to thin the deck. And we are also playing Triple Solar Recharge. This card is phenomenal for the deck, and whoops, give me a sec, I, put, I ended up grabbing another card, <laughs> grabbing those. Um, phenomenal card for the deck, only downside is you can sometimes mill off your bad card, or your good cards, which is what the one slash draw is for slash draw lets you recur your cards and actually choose what gets sent to the graveyard and lets you shuffle back cards into your deck so it's a very good recursion recursion card we're playing the one brilliant fusion again it's for seraphonite you know typical combo stuff um uh, the one dark world dealings this is just because eh, i am going to be playing a shed all engine and dealings help me get the shed all effects off and at worst, I end up breaking into a glow up bulb. We're playing the one reasoning. Yeah, essentially free monster gate. It's just a deck thinner. Same with the one Rota. We're playing a one monster reborn. One foolish. 
And we are playing Monster Gate for our last spell card. And for the trap, we're playing the One Light Sworn Judgment because it searches out the um, Judgment Dragons and is a free draw off of Minerva. So that is it for the main deck. Now we are going to we'll go on to the extra deck. So one sec, please. On to the extra deck, we are playing the one Borolo Dragon. This card is very solid as a budget rank, um, Link 4. And just very good overall, being able to steal your opponent's cards. One crazy interaction you can actually do with this card is use it to attack into something like another Borolode and steal it, and then use that Borolode to attack another Borolode and steal another card. Um, in case you haven't played... Um, Borload in the year that it, no, yeah, Circuit Break was 2017, so in about two years since it came out. Um, yeah, it's like seven dollars for the dual power copy, so I'd say pick yourself up one. It's a very good card. We also have the one Curious. This is a, one of the best links in the game. I don't care what people say. Um, being able to send any card from your grave in this deck. Is a huge luxury and uh, being able to do it with curious not only can you trigger the light sworn effects but seeing as a um, glow up bulb something that can go in the grave it's also really great to send it because it gives you another extension with a mill as well and same with Destrudo not to mention the milling three also just can fill up your graveyard and get you cards you need we're playing one Decode Talker. This is uh, extra battle damage and also protection from targeting. One Nightmare Phoenix. This is back row removal. And one Underclock Taker for damage. And for an extra Link Zone. We're playing the two Minervas. This is, well, it's what you think it's used for. It's to mill cards to the grave and either draw or destroy cards. Dependent on which effect you're using, if it's destroyed, mill, destroy your opponent's cards for every light sworn. And if you're using the regular effect, mill and draw cards. And I'm sorry if y'all saw that next card. It's something that not too many people play in 2019, and that is Castell the Sky Blaster Musketeer. I just play it because A, it's a poor man's unicorn, and B, it's still a powerful card nonetheless. Then we have the Dark Rebellion to weaken the opponent's cards. Abyss Dweller because Orcus is still a thing. And Dante to end off our sink our our AZ monsters because well, milling your cards is something the stack wants to do. Synchro lineup hasn't changed. We're still playing the Stardust Dragon, the Michael, and the Don Dragster. And that is what our synchro lineup will stay as. I think the only thing that will change is probably the XZ lineup once we get the Shad All cards. And for the last card in the extra deck, we are playing one Seraphonite. Seraphonite allows for normal summons, allows you to go into your extra extenders and everything. And to demonstrate that, I will do a combo right now, or a test hand. Alright, our deck is shuffled up, so we're going to go ahead and do the drawing. We have Gigantes. Glow Up Bulb, eh. Lone Fire Blossom, pretty good. Charge, and Solar Recharge. Okay, that is actually open up the nuts. So what we would do here is summon Lone Fire, use Effect, and bring out the Orphis Scorpio. So when Orphis Scorpio is summoned, you then discard a card. We discard Glow Up Bulb in this case to summon this, which would be uh, the Darling Tonia Cobra, and then use the effect to add Brilliant Fusion. And then using Brilliant Fusion, summoning Seraphonite, and sending Gem Knight Lapis and a Light Monster. So we sent Wolf, and we sent Lapis. Wolf will summon. And then uh, what we're going to do is activate Charge. Milling three off of our deck, and adding a Light Swarm.
And now that our deck is shuffled, we are then going to banish the Lapis, allowing us to summon the Gigantes from our um, hand. And using uh, Seraphonite, all right, now before we're going to normal summon the Raiden, then using Seraphonite and Cobra, we're going to go into our Underclock Taker. And then use these to sink off into the um, Dawn Dragster. And then these to link off into the Code Talker. And then, give me a sec. Then we use Glow Up Bulbs Effect Engrave Milling a card to special summon it. And the card we milled is our Felis, so that's gonna summon. To which we will then overlay into, oops, parts getting on top of each other and everything. We will go into Minerva and then use the effect, milling the top three cards of our deck and we hit nothing, so. I guess that's what we end on because <laughs> we didn't do it too good, but we have a free protection from um, uh, targeting, we have a spell and trap negate, and we have a disruption if someone kills Minerva, so yeah. That's it for the combo, I'm going to clean the deck up and then we will get to the outro. So that is all for today, I hope you like, check out or I hope that you liked. Check out my other videos if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And before I say I'm signing out, I do have one thing to say, and that is we are going to start doing live duels on this channel. First one will be Light Sworn versus Burning Abyss, being a battle of the graveyard decks. Because both decks are primarily graveyard based and my friend Jason happens to play Burning Abyss. So yeah, stay tuned for that within the next two weeks. And this is the Stefano Turtle YGO signing out. Goodbye.